couple of dozen of them because uh, they got body on it. But, uh, a couple of dozen of them played with an IED and they'd come back bilateral, missing two arms. And I would think missing an arm, I don't know how I vote with that. Until you think of missing two arms, then missing one arm seems like an inconvenience. They sat in my office and said, the best we've been able to do for these people is what we did in the Civil War. A hook, a stick. He said, I want you guys to give us something that will allow these kids to pick up a raisin or a grape off the desk, know the difference without looking at it. So I need efferent and afferent neural signals. I need a haptic response. He wanted them to be able to manipulate these things and put it in He finishes telling me what he wants. This is the guy that runs all of DARPA, very well respected, senior guy in our government. And I said, that's really nice. Good nice. The technology is not available to do that. He takes out a piece of paper with a surgeon that he wrote with him. He's a wonderful guy. And then these other senior people. And he said, you've been finding all sorts of interesting people around the country. Well, go we'll look at what's out there. And then I took a little field trip around the country because you know, my day job does come in business. <laughs> and uh, I went back to Washington. I said to these guys, I did what you said. I looked around and looked at the technology. I still think you're not. But not as much as I thought. We're going to give this a try. We told them in two years we have it on people. We actually now have it on the president. Like almost one, one year, almost to the day, which is now a couple of months ago, we finished building a fully articulated 14 degree of freedom arm. It weighs less than nine pounds. I'm going to show it to you without any of the skins on it, which make it cosmetically good look. You will be kidding me. We're going to show you the structure of this thing. The 14 sets of actuators being run by an exoskeleton. It would fit in a 50th percentile female frame, which is really hard to do. But it would be easy to put in the big guy. This is our engineers demonstrating this device. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, and all the things. Watch his fingers. Watch his index finger. It's titanium, magnesium, 14 sets of processors. He's going to pick up a pen with an opposed index finger, an opposed thumb, rotate it from this with a, with a delicate grasp. Now a, a fist and a towel grip with his thumb like that. That's what we did with our summer vacation. 